Okay, so this is going to be a really quick video, and uh, so I have a Vega 64 here, and it's a triple fan cooler, uh, so it's a lot better than the blower coolers, but it's still not super great, so I want to improve thermals, uh, just because I want to get as much performance out of this thing as possible, and I don't really want to undervolt it. So I have some ideas, and uh, we'll get this apart, and I'll talk about it. So the idea is to reduce temperatures on the air cooler, right? So it's not an original idea, but we have some liquid metal. And at first I thought I was going to have to put some uh, thermal paste on the HBM here. I don't know if you can tell the camera, the HBM and the die seem to be perfectly level with each other. And I didn't think this was going to be the case. But anyway, so now I'm going to change the plan and just use liquid metal on both of them. And so I'm gonna get that done and we're gonna have some uh, temperature benchmarks for you guys. So before and after. Okay, so we just got our fire strike uh, runs done, and the score is 24,562, and we're sitting at uh, 57 degrees C on the decor, and 62 for the memory, and this is after a bunch of runs, actually. And I actually had to um, not record it with OBS, because OBS was tanking the graphics score, even though I wasn't using GPU encoding. So I use these same settings for, um, so with thermal paste and on liquid metal, same settings. 10, 11 degrees Celsius or so below on the core, but the HBM is actually roughly the same temperature 